So I recently did a review on the Admiral 64 wireless controller, and while the controller may be pretty meh, there is one little piece of functionality on it that is pretty nifty, and that is backing up N64 controller pack saves. In the past, you could use items like Dex Drives, the EverDrive, or even a Game Shark to back up controller pack saves, but this is a much more streamlined method than most of the other ones, really. I mean, EverDrive works fine as well, but this is pretty easy stuff to do. So all you need is a N64 controller pack, third party, first party, it doesn't really matter. And then, of course, an Admiral 64 and a micro SD card. I have a 128 gig here that I'm using, and it seems to be working just fine. So first things first, we're going to insert the micro SD card into the Admiral 64 receiver here. So label faces towards the inside. It won't go in if you try to put it in the wrong way. So, I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult. And then it's just a nice click receiver. And there's even a nice little label on the front of the receiver to tell you which way it needs to go in. So... <laughs> Um, the next up, we're going to need uh, the memory pack. Just go ahead and insert that in, like so. And then uh, go ahead and stick this guy in the N64. So for this, I have a couple of saves already backed up to my EverDrive. So I'm going to go ahead and load some of them up real quick. And I'm going to restore a mempack save I have for uh, Tony Ox Pro Skater 3. I'm going to write this to my controller pack. All right, now it is on my controller pack. All right, so just to show you what's on this save file, so load it up here. And I have a 100% custom character skater, so all levels completely done, everything unlocked with this character. Now that I've double checked that the memory card has the contents on it that I want, let's go ahead and back it up using the Admiral's receiver. So on the Admiral, there is a nice little switch right here. And by default, it is in the down position that lets you use it as a normal controller and memory card. If we flip it up, it changes over to copy mode. So once you see that yellow light flashing, you can press the sync button up here and it will start backing up the uh, controller pack to that memory card. And then once it starts flashing again, that means it's done. So we could go ahead and flip this back down into the normal position. And then from here, you could turn off the N64, just remove the memory card. Doesn't really matter either way. But now we are going to insert it into the computer. After inserting the SD card into the computer, you have a file named r.mpk, so mempack file. This is automatically usable with something like Project 64. So I actually downloaded Project 64 specifically for this demo, but if we were to load into Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 on Project 64. So by default, there's no memory pack saves to be found on here, which is fine. That's one of the reasons why we're doing this. If we go into our save folder, we should now have there we go, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 Controller1.mpk. So that is exactly what we need here. We're gonna transfer, well, we're gonna transfer the r.mpk file over to uh, the Project 64 folder. Let's go ahead and close out a Project 64 real quick before this next part so it doesn't mess things up. Now that r.mpk is in the save folder, we're going to copy the name of the memory pack save it created when we first launched Tony Hawk 3 on Project 64. Then go ahead and delete the memory pack save and rename your r.mpk to the proper file name here. Now, when we relaunch Project 64 and relaunch Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, we should have that memory pack save to pull from. So now when I go into career mode, I can load my career and there it is. My fully completed skater on Project 64 using my real console's memory pack save. I could also go ahead and choose other skaters and things like that. And if I happen to complete any goals with them,
So now that I have a new level goal completed on a skater I hadn't used before, it will save that to this memory pack file, and I can actually transfer this back over to my N64 with the updated save. Close out of Project 64, go back into that save folder, and copy the .mpk file back over to your micro SD card. You can go ahead and delete the r.mpk, we don't need that at the moment, but change the name of this file to a capital W for write. So R for read, W for write. That's how the Admiral's receiver works. Close all this down. Now that the save has been renamed to W.MPK, it is ready to go back onto the N64 memory pack. So insert the micro SD card into the Admiral's receiver. Make sure the switch is in the up position for transfer mode. Power on the console. And then press the sync button twice. And now the save should be back on the memory pack in its updated form. So let's go ahead and see. Flip the switch back down to controller mode. Now I can load career. Select ice. And it brought up Tony Hawk, one goal completed, whereas before I was just on my custom skater with all the goals completed. Now for those of you who might want to use these memory pack save files on RetroArch with uh, better N64 emulation than Project 64 offers, there is a different method that needs to be used to get these to work. When a game is loaded up in RetroArch using Moopin64 plus Next, it actually makes a giant different type of save file. Memory packs, cartridge saves, everything is saved in a single SRAM file. So when we load up Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 here, I could go into career mode. And when I go to load career, it shows that there are no save files, as expected. But now that I've loaded the game, I can see in my system folder, no, I can see in my saves folder, there is now a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 SRAM file right here. As you can see, it is 290 kilobytes versus the 32 kilobytes of our memory pack save here. But there is a tool online called Project 64 to SRAM that is available and it is able to convert these mempack files to the proper SRAM saves. All you gotta do is drag and drop it onto the proper executable. And now we have r.sram at that 290 kilobytes. Now the process is pretty much identical to that of Project 64. I'm gonna copy r.sram into my save folder. I'm gonna copy the name of the save, delete the old save, and put that name onto the new save that was just created. Now loading back into Tony Hawk 3, I could go to career mode, load career, and there is my save, ICE. And there we are, Tony Hawk, one out of one goals completed. And then, of course, my custom skater with all the goals created. So this method is great if you want to get saves into RetroArch, but I haven't found a way to get them out of RetroArch back to a real console yet. That's one benefit Project 64 has over this still. But I'm going to keep looking around and see if someone else has found a way to convert the SRAM saves back into individual mempack saves and things like that, because that would be very handy. Because I don't like using Project 64. So there you have it, backing up N64 memory pack saves using the Admiral 64's wireless receiver. It's very convenient and one of the best benefits of the Admiral, honestly, considering all of its other shortcomings. But as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it helps you back up your precious controller pack saves. Get these things backed up. The batteries in them die so badly. And then you can also continue your wonderful game saves on an emulator in higher fidelity, so just a really cool process all around. But that's going to do it for today, so as always, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate all the support you give this channel, everybody. It means a big deal to us, so thank you all so much for that. 
So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's video. Hit that sub button, notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And if you'd like to maybe further help support the channel, you can always click that join button here on YouTube or check out the Patreon link in the description or bottom right hand corner of the screen. As always, I am just grateful for your consideration and to all of my friggin' champions who have already done so, thank you so incredibly much. You help keep us going. But that's gonna do it for today. Until next time, stay awesome. We'll see you all back next video.